Heavenly Father, I long to hear your words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Pray in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for how you've arranged my life to be with the specific people that you've put into my life at specific times and uh, specific people that you've taken out of my life at specific times. Um, Especially for Haley being here right now has been such a blessing. And I remember specifically yesterday talking about how, yeah, like one year ago, things that happened were um, yeah changes that I thought were so unimaginably painful are now seen as such positive blessings in my life and father I just prayed that Whatever future disruptions or calamities, diseases, illnesses, even deaths, let me be um, reassured of your faithfulness towards us, to be accepting of whatever circumstances that come before me, whether joyful or sorrowful. <sighs> yeah. Lord, I am. I'm just reminded day by day of your unending grace and how you have changed my life so much these past several weeks. I pray that you will continue to do so, Lord. I ask that you would bestow on me patience and gratitude in these everyday occurrences. Yeah, I pray all this in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, um, thank you for your unending grace and mercy and patience towards me, for I stumble every day, and yet you, you help me up, lift me from the ground, reassuring me that though I may be impossible to fix in this life that you're going to be there for me every slip of the way and that um, when eternity comes I can look onto you with with a perfect face for you will have made me whole and Lord I'm just so blessed that I'm able to even comprehend what you are, how you are, that you give me your word. I do just think that <clears throat> if there were a God, if you did exist, that you would create such an accessible medium for me to learn about you, to study about you, to think about you, to have questions about you. And right here, in, in your word, the Bible. I, yeah, on my phone, my computer. That's so, that's so crazy to think. That <clears throat> the creator of the universe, of Mars, of the Milky Way, of me, of these small microscopic organisms, created this physical book that I can perceive and understand well most of the time understand (laughs) and that is just beautiful Lord and I just pray that as I read through Luke um, 
15 today. Yeah, it just opened my heart. <sighs> Helped me to um, recognize what sins that I've been committing. Maybe we'll, maybe without we'll even knowing or realizing it. Um, Helped me to see what corners of my life I've been neglecting. Perhaps any relationships with people that I've forgotten. And Lord, help me just to be at peace with uh, the remainder of this week, the remainder of this day, the remainder of my time reading your word. Blessed are you, Lord. And I pray all this in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this season of Thanksgiving where we can come together as friends, um, family, etc. to be able to um, have this time to just remember and recognize what is important in our lives. And Lord, I, I, I pray that many will recognize your, uh, your mercy and your blessings that you give us. Yeah, it's hard for me to <coughs> to share that always. But Father, you are infinitely kind and infinitely just. Someone or something that I aspire to be. Father, as I stand here in Shenandoah National Park, or next to it, the... The sun is shining. It seems cold, but it's not actually cold. And life is just so <sighs> abundantly silent out here. <coughs> Being able to see so many stars at night, to hear wolf howls in the dark. Climbing through trees and hills of leaves. Jumping in those piles of leaves. Lord, I'm so thankful for this time that you've given to me and some of my friends that are here with me. Lord, I'm not... I'm, I'm still really unsure of where I'm heading in these next several months. And I pray pray that you may continue to guide me, give me clarity, if it is your will, to to do my best to uplift you and glorify you as my sole mission in life, or at least my primary mission. Lord, let, let that goal, let that mission manifests itself in all aspects of my life from school career, family, friends entertainment, food rest Lord, let all of that be infused by what you mean and what you stand for let that influence my actions my thoughts, my words It's just so quiet out here. <laughs> the, it's a little unsettling, but at the same time, it's very comforting. That's that's a weird sentence to say. <clears throat> I pray that all is well for those that I have not talked to recently, those that are likely going through difficult times, really terrible times, actually. Yeah. Lord, I pray that you will show them mercy and health and security 
and humility to me. Um, for I know not the innumerous blessings that I currently have. Yeah. Thank you for this Thanksgiving again, Father. And I just pray that for the rest of this trip, for the rest of this weekend, for the rest of this month and year, I may continue to glorify you above all else. I pray this in Son Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to wake up today, giving me the ability to see, to hear, to breathe. Just looking outside, there's these buildings, these trees, skies and clouds. All too often, I just forget these beautiful things that are right here in front of me. I have this mattress, I have this computer that I can, like, look up stuff, can play games on, listen to music, so much things. I have this phone, which I'm recording this prayer on. Lord, how blessed am I to have these gifts that you've given to me? And yet I so often am ungrateful for Father, I, yeah, I, I pray that today you may utilize me in ways that you have never done before. Lord, I, I'm excited for this day. I'm, <laughs> I'm filled with emotion that I, I want to give stuff done. I want to be productive. It's, it's a Monday. I want to be able to glorify you with my work, with how I steward my time today. Um, especially with this case study, with emails, with um, like career stuff, travel plans. Lord, there's so much, I have so much vigor today. <laughs> and I, it's all because of you. I would usually not wake up this excited for life, but because you have died for me, because you have blocked out my sin, you have purchased my unrighteousness. I have new meaning in life that if I wake up, there is purpose to why I should get out of the bed. There is a necessity even to do the things that you have commanded me. For it is not out of obligation or uh, homework, but rather a relationship, building this sense of love between you and me, Lord. Or you already love me more infinitely than I could, I could ever imagine, but at least for me, being able to know you and follow you more and more every day is something I... I long to do. And many days, or I can confess and admit, I am running in the exact opposite direction. I don't want to know you, Lord. You're the last thing on my mind. And I ask for forgiveness for those moments. <sighs> but at least for today, Lord, you have given me this renewal of strength and excitement. You have given me good rest. You have given me Oh, <laughs> and thank you, Father. There are only oh, about three more weeks until I go home to Alabama, until I um, finish my time here at Georgetown. I don't know what comes next, Lord. I don't. I don't know how you want to use me during this time and after this time. But I just entrust all of it to you. Not not that I can remain lazy and stagnant and not do anything. But more importantly, that I may entrust that whatever does happen, you are in full control. And that is one of the most relieving things I could ever pray for. Because how 
destructive would it be <laughs> to have me controlling my life when I know that I am sinful, I am broken, I make mistakes? Why would I want someone like me to lead my life when I know that there is someone who's perfect, holy, all loving, all just, and all perfect? When he, when you, can lead my life. It just logically doesn't make sense. So I'm very thankful for you, Lord. Yeah. I pray that today may be a glorious day for you. And that you may use me in ways that I could have never imagined before. I pray all this near son, Jesus Christ. Who died for all of my sons. Amen. <sighs> Heavenly Father. Oh. Sorry, I just had to lock my door. But thank you so much for... <sighs> allowing me to feel pain. Allowing me to have these sensations of what life can be. I, <laughs> it's so cold today, Father. It's really frigid. But being able to feel the wind on my skin and being able to um, exercise my body to endure that pain and to feel strength and growth lord and to <laughs> get out of the cold wind and into a cold shower uh, father it is so painful <laughs> but i can't help but laugh um that i am able to feel these things to have these sensations i i just got out of the shower and i feel so alive being able to have the the human anatomy nerves to be able to uh understand this pain this um tingling sensations i don't even, i don't even i can't even describe it lord but the way that you have constructed my body and your people's bodies it is just amazing. I think if I if I didn't understand or could know pain, life would be a lot harder to um, appreciate. And that's the same with sadness and joy um, and failure and success heartbreaks and loves um, sin and redemption Lord the way you work is sometimes seemingly contradictory to what we humans may think a good just God would do in the moment but you live on an infinite time scale. The time doesn't even exist for you. How can I, in my finite life of so far only 21 years, say that um, people who may pass away, people who may, um, who may be killed, these are very sad and sorrowful indeed, Lord, but Compared to galaxies, compared to black holes 100 trillion years from now that you are still in control of, Lord, why do we even matter? We shouldn't matter, Lord. That, yeah, that's... We shouldn't matter. But for some reason... You love us. 
and you make us a priority. The one who controls the cosmos thinks that I am his beloved and that I am his son on equal standing with his um, perfect son that is something too profound and too holy to really get my mind around but yeah I uh, just wanted to I'm still standing here in my underwear Father Lord but you answer all prayers and you are always here um, I just want to thank you for for, get, for granting me this body and though it may be imperfect though I may corrupt it adulterate it Lord you still love me so I thank you I pray this all in your son Jesus Christ Amen